Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to send Google Calendar event reminders to Facebook leads on WhatsApp. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to create a new event in my Google Calendar, then I want to send a reminder for that event to my Facebook leads on WhatsApp. So I've added the Facebook leads data in a Google Sheet and from that I'm retrieving the details. So here my objective is to send a reminder on WhatsApp to the Facebook leads for Google Calendar event. So Pabli Connect follows the concept of trigger and action. So here to do this, the trigger application will be Google Calendar and the action applications will be Google Sheets and WhatsApp. So here to send the WhatsApp message, I'm using WhatsApp Cloud API. If you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. So in this video, we will understand how to send Google Calendar event reminders to your Facebook leads on WhatsApp. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to create a new event in Google Calendar, then I want to send a reminder to my Facebook leads on WhatsApp. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Public Connect and as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. If you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page. So here I will go to Public Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. In the meanwhile, subscribe to our channel. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as send Google Calendar event reminders to your Facebook leads on WhatsApp. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Google Calendar Reminder Automation because this is an automation to send your Google Calendar event reminders. And now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. So basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of a trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case that is to send Google Calendar event reminders to my Facebook leads on WhatsApp. So here in Pabli Connect, I will go to my trigger window. So as I want to send a reminder for an event which I'm going to create in Google Calendar. So over here, Google Calendar will be my trigger application and here it is. And the trigger event will be new event. So this trigger will start working whenever a new event will be created in Google Calendar. So this here is the Google Sheet which I've prepared where I'm adding the Facebook leads. So I've already set up an automation for this that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then automatically the lead details should be added in this Google Sheets. So in this Google Sheets, there are the details of the Facebook leads to whom I want to send a reminder about the Google Calendar event. So over here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to go to this action window and over here I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my action application because in the Google Sheet, I have the Facebook lead details. So here to fetch the data from Google Sheets, I'm going to use the action event as get rows. So it will retrieve the data from the Google Sheet. So now as I want to send a reminder about the event on WhatsApp, so here to send the WhatsApp message, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API. And the action event will be to send template message. So as you can see that I have selected my action application and the action events along with the trigger application and the trigger event. So here my objective is to send Google Calendar event reminders to Facebook leads on WhatsApp. So now in order to do that, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Google Calendar and Public Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. So here I'm going to click on allow as this is a secure access. And the authorization was successful. So as the authorization was successful, so Google Calendar and Pabli Connect is connected. So now moving to this calendar field. So from this calendar drop down, I need to select the calendar. So here in Google Calendar, you can see that these are my calendars. So I'm going to use this calendar by the name of social media event. So here in Pabli Connect, I have selected the calendar. So as a trigger application is a polling based one. So this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. So over here in Google Calendar, I'm going to create a new event that will be held today at 9.30 p.m. So over here, let's say the name of the event will be Social Media Marketing Workshop. 
So this here is the name of the event and I'm going to add the description as well. So you can see that the name of the event is Social Media Marketing Workshop and here is the date and time that is of Saturday 9th March that is today at 9.30 p.m. till 10.30 p.m. and over here is the description and now I'm going to click on save. So here it says event is saved. So now over here in Pabli Connect as I've mentioned that currently I'm setting up this automation. So as I'm going to click on save and send test request, I will get this event details over here in the response. So over here in the response, you can see that this here is the title of the event that is social media marketing workshop here. The status is confirmed. You can see the start date and time along with the time zone scrolling down to some other details. Over here, you can see that this here is the description and here is the end date and time. So the first step of this automation is set up. That means now whenever a new event will be created in Google Calendar, then automatically the details of that event will get captured over here in Public Connect. So this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes because this is a polling based trigger. So as I've got the event details, now I want to send a reminder to my Facebook leads before 30 minutes of the event. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on this add action step and over here, I'm going to use date time formatter by Pabli. So here I'm going to search for date time formatter. So date time formatter by Pabli will help me to add or subtract time. It will help me to manipulate the date and time. So over here, you can see that date time formatter by Pabli is connected. So now moving to the enter date. So over here, I need to enter the date which I would like to format. So over here, the date will be of start date and time. So here from the response received from Google Calendar, I've mapped it. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous steps. So as I've received the date from Google Calendar, so here I've mapped it. So now moving to expression, it says provide the amount of time you would like to add or subtract to the date. So over here, as I want to send the reminder before 30 minutes of the event, so here the expression will be of 30 minutes. So I've mentioned it. So now moving to the two format. So over here, I'm going to select this format as the two format. And I'm going to tell you in this video afterwards that why I've selected this format only. So now in the from format, so this here is the from format that is given. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And this here is a positive response. So over here, the response which we have got is in UTC format. So as this step is a successful one, I want to send the reminder before 30 minutes. So in order to maintain that, I'm going to click on this add action step and I'm going to use delay by Pabli because I want that whenever this workflow is going to run, then automatically at that time, the message should not be sent. It should be sent prior to 30 minutes. So I'm going to use delay by Pabli, which will help me to put a delay in this workflow. So over here, I'm going to delay it and now I'm going to select it as delay until and over here, I'm going to mention the delay date. So over here, I've mapped the delay date and as I've mentioned that I'm going to tell you that why I've selected the two date in that format because over here in the instruction, you can see that delay only follows this format. So that is why in date time format by Pabli, I have selected the format which would have been accepted by delay. And this here is the format which we have got over here in the result as well. So as this delay date completely follows the format as per the instruction. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So over here, you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. So it is successfully delayed. So now moving ahead, as in a Google Sheet, I'm adding the Facebook lead details. So for this, I've already set up an automation that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then automatically in the new row, the details will be added. So over here in Pabli Connect, I need to click on Connect. And now to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. So as I've already signed in once with my Google account in this work, so I will go with the existing one. So here you can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is connected. So this here is the Google Sheet where the Facebook lead details will be added. So over here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to select the spreadsheet as Facebook leads new. It has automatically selected the sheet. So now moving to the range. Here I need to enter the range till where I want to fetch the data. So from this Google Sheet, my range will be A2 till C. So over here, I'm going to mention it as A2 till C because I want that whenever in this Google Sheet, the new lead details will be added. So all of those lead details should be captured over here in Pabli Connect and then they could also receive the reminder on WhatsApp. So here I've mentioned all the details and now I'm going to get the response in the advanced format and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. 
And here you can see that I have received the response over here in this box. So as I've received the response in array format, so to process the arrays, I'm going to use a step that is iterator by Pabli. So iterator by Pabli will help me to process the arrays. So I'm going to click on connect. Over here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And you can see that the arrays are successfully processed. And over here, I've got the result in a proper key and value format. So as I've got the result, now I want to send a WhatsApp message. So to send the WhatsApp message, I'm using WhatsApp Cloud API. And now I need to establish a connection between WhatsApp Cloud API and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I need to mention the token phone number ID, WhatsApp business account ID. So I've already set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account. If you want to learn about that process, you can check the video on a YouTube channel. So to mention these details, I'm going to take you to Meta for Developers and this here is the app dashboard. I will go to WhatsApp and now I will go to API setup. So this here is the access token. I'm going to copy it and over here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste it. So now moving to the phone number ID, again, I'm going to copy it and here I'm going to paste it. Now moving to the WhatsApp business ID. So again, I'm going to copy it and over here, I'm going to paste it. So as I've mentioned these details, I'm going to click on save. And here you can see that WhatsApp Cloud API and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to the template name. So here in message templates, I have created this template by the name of Google Calendar Reminder. So this here is the message template. And in this template, you can see that I have added variables. So these variables will keep on changing accordingly as per I'm going to receive a new response. So over here, the first variable is for the name of the person. The second variable is for the event name. The third variable is for the event start time. And the fourth variable is for the event end time. So this here is the reminder message which I have framed. It goes as event reminder for. This is to remind you that will begin shortly. Event will be started at and it will end at. Kindly be on time. Thanks and regards. So over here, these variables are going to keep on changing accordingly as per the response I'm going to receive. So here in Pabli Connect from this drop down, I'm going to select my template as Google Calendar Reminder. And over here, it has detected the language code and the selected template ID. So now moving to these fields. So here to mention the details in these fields, I'm going to use the method which is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received the response from the applications, so here I'm going to map the response from that. So over here as the body field two was for the event name that was social media marketing workshop. And in the body field three, I want to mention the start date and time of the event. And in the variable four, I want to mention the end date and time of the event. And now over here in these fields, I'm going to mention the time. So as I want to mention the time in the same exact format, which I've mentioned in my Google calendar that shows us 9.30 PM to 10.30 PM. So over here in Pabli Connect to get the date and time in that format. So I'm going to click on this add action step. And over here, I'm going to use date time formatter by Pabli. So date time formatter by Pabli will give me option to select the date and time as per my format. So over here, I'm going to select format date with time zone. And over here, I'm going to click on connect. And now moving to the date. So over here, I'm going to mention the start date and time. So over here, I've mapped it. So now moving to the from format. So this here is the from format. Now moving to the to format. So this here will be my to format. And now moving to the from time zone. So over here from this drop down, I'm going to select the time zone as Asia Kolkata. Here it is. And now the two time zone will also be of Asia and Kolkata. Here I'm going to select it. And now as I've mentioned the from format to format and the start date and time. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So over here you can see that I have received the date and time in the format which I have wanted. So here you can see this here is the date and this here is the time that is of the event as of 9.30 p.m. So here you can see the event time that was of 9.30 p.m. So now I'm going to clone this step for the end date and time. So by cloning this step, it will create a step just like this. And over here in this step, I'm going to map the end date and time. So over here, I'm going to search for the end date and time. And here it is. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received the response. Here is the date and this here is the time. So now as I've got the response from date and time for matter. So over here in this action window, WhatsApp cloud API. So from the response received from date time for matter, I'm going to map the date and time. 
So over here now, I'm going to map the end date and time. And here I have mapped it. So as you can see that in these fields, I've mapped the details. So basically this method of mapping is important so that every time you're going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So in order to avoid that problem, we mapped the information. So as I've mapped the details, here I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request. So here you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. So before clicking on save and send test request, I've mentioned an actual number so that I can show you the WhatsApp message as well. So over here, you can see that this here is the WhatsApp message that has been sent to the Facebook lead for Google Calendar event. So this here is the reminder message. So here after event reminder, you can see the name of the lead. Here you can see the name of the event and the start date and time along with the end date and time. So that means a Google Calendar event reminder is successfully sent to my Facebook lead on WhatsApp. So as I was setting up this automation, that is why the reminder has been sent. But when this workflow is going to run in real time, then the reminder will be sent before 30 minutes only. So over here in Pabli Connect, this automation is a successful one. That means now whenever I'm going to create a new event in Google Calendar, then a reminder will be sent to my Facebook leads on WhatsApp before 30 minutes of the event. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.